error. Alright. Well, no event or stuff for now. So I better check on the last quest. From previous version still. Haven't done it. Alright, so bunch of dialogue probably. We have to go right this instant. Oh yeah, the ring will rush. Come down, Garcia. Didn't Oscar Manta say that things in Petrocor have returned to normal? Sir, please have faith in the good gentlemen of the club. They are brilliant people. They will be fine. The threat notwithstanding. Yes, yes, I know Babis is very clever in the big country. Always has a strategy handy. But neither of them is good at dealing with malicious intent. I sent them letters to warn them, but the despicable merchant was far too cunning for them. And the humanity. Good folk are always being taken advantage of by the bad. In that case, we can only put our faith in Mr. Bus Boswe. I hope that the Fulton Research Institute can see the club members through. See the Daydream Club itself blown sky high, more like. Hmm. It was like this is a job for me. I could pull back down, pull it back down if it does. Right. Oh my dear Ignus, you are here at last. Wondrous, wondrous. Come, let us be off immediately. Good to see you, Ignus. Fine, well. You've been doing well, I can tell. Hey, Drakaya, is just Paimon, or did you did you get prettier since we last saw you? Did she change? Uh, we do have a poem in Liu. How does it go now? Something like... I think I remember. Even in fields of flower, my eyes did too, str too straight. Something like that. It was in an anthology I read once. Thank you, Lutong. Liu truly is a comprehensive repository of poetic wonders. In which case, let us depart in the name of Sir Wonders. Your blush. Uh, hardly. I was simply too warm, yes. So worrisome were the wind and waves that I wore a few extra layers. <laughs> is that so? You know, I couldn't tell just by looking. Alright, everyone. Uh, let's go. Uh, everything's ready. My apologies, Mr. Garcia. I would have gotten you a few more layers if only we had known. You were so afraid of the cold. In that case, please head to Petro first. You, I'll be waiting for some colleagues here first, and we'll join you shortly. The group quickly sets out on the road to Petro. I don't remember everything that was happening. Story. Ah, uh, Petro. My homeland, how lovely, how familiar, how... How? Quiet. Sir, is your hometown famed for its tranquility? Of course not. But be say, McIntyre, make all manners of crashing clamor every day. Never mind anyone else. Wait, McIntyre, Babis, we must go to the club first. Come with me, quickly. Shouldn't we rush as well? Uh, was that real or just an illusion? I saw it. I cannot tell either, but... Uh, what have I done? Oh, Arkos, help us. The country, Babis. Oh, I saw what happened at the club. I fear something must have happened to you. Where's Este? What about Crispin? What happened to the club? Garcia, I must be dreaming, or have I always been? What brings you back here? 
Your Remuria? No, no, no. Archons. Um, my mind's just filled with this stuff, isn't it? Your Garcia? Rondeland? Just what are you up to this time? Find another opportunity to exploit? Or are you trying to take credit for our research again? Well, <laughs> I have considered doing so before, but. Uh, so this is the fellow who caught at your research? That's right, that's him. He hired people to tell us and even sent them to search my room, trying to take the number machine for himself. It hardly surprised me that you would wait for me in Petrocorp once you realized that you wouldn't get anything out of me. I'll have you know, I already wrote a letter. Oh, Mommy Garcia, he doesn't quite look right. I almost said that about everyone here, you know? Could it be that uh, it's the influence of Phobos? Has Phobos' influence not faded completely? Yeah, because even. Even if I did it as fast as good, I think I'll have to wait two days at the very least to get here. Shouldn't people be fine by now? But you mean that they just mean that they also had that dream and became other remembers too, just like Esther. But I thought people didn't remember that. Right? If they're they've been on this island the whole time, then Phobos would have. Uh, that was exactly what I was thinking, Garcia. I confess, I was once an awful villain, and I... <laughs> so, good sir, I assume you plan to lure him over to Petrocor before using the noble sentiments of those these friends of yours here to influence him. It's like a smashing success, if you ask me. Did you know you had a knack for this? Do I know... Uh. Huh? I must say that had you demonstrated this talent in the past, our work would have gone much more smoothly. Oh my, we might have to re-examine our relationship here. Uh, hang on, this isn't time for jokes. Uh, why was I so obsessed with control before? I truly am beyond help. Don't try anything funny, Grunland. My country and Babis have already placed photographs in town. Why? All your dastardly ploys have been recorded, sure as we live. What, they are recording everything that happens in the whole town? Babis, my country, you. Photographs? Oh yeah, I placed them. Then we took a walk and only talked about stuff to do with making money. Truly silly stuff. Investment, stock ownership, promotion, more and more and more, rolling everywhere. All while our minds fill up like giant water bags. Oh wait, where did I put them? Do you remember my bees? In the uh, flower pots. The one in town next to the bell, the hall, the stone statue, the hall, and with Mr. Bosse. Oh, wait, he's. Where's this gun? Sir, there are no bells in this area. Didn't there is a bell in town. Nor halls or stone statues. Uh, looks like there's no getting through to them. Ninos, please come with me as we search for the photographs. I fear there are that is our own lead. Niskaya, could I trouble you to accompany Mr. Garcia and this gentleman here? Leave it to me, they do indeed need some taken care of. First, we need to find a way to calm them now. Let me think. Mm, a bowl of delicious hot soup would make for a good start. Oh, no, feed the cat. Oh, I can. Oh, I didn't know I could. But what I wanted was that. Sub researchers, uh, not even a ten thousand of your intelligence. Cooperation, more a big business doesn't work out. We just have to make him suffer more, suffer, suffer some. Contracts here, sign here. 
um, what's happening? Till so those thuds can be heard from the phonograph, and after one, no more speaking can be heard. No, floor pause, floor pause, there's nothing at all. Take a one, what are you guys talking about? What has happened to the town? Did that idiot Grispan hypnotize everyone? Well, wait, where has he gone? Uh, he's taking Grobo with him too? Uh, it couldn't really have been him though, could it? Please, McCunter, Babis, come to your senses, the club's counting on you. Come down, Garcia, let's go make them some soup first. A little something warm will help them recover the wits. Alright. I really don't know what to do, Kai. Uh, this is all a mess. Don't worry, dear, it's alright. You've got me, and that's no, not in doubt, is it? No, there's really no hope for me. Why did I. Oh, Arkans, why did I do those things? I'm just like the person. I wanted to pull the strings, let others do my bidding. No, 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 no. Peace. That's right. You just couldn't learn to daydream. There's no lack of reality all around us. You just lack the power to dream. You had to. We had to look up at the sky and seas obsessing over Mora and Tall Towers. And empty spaces where our researcher truly belongs. It's not at all. It's for a pot. Uh, we can't convince everyone. Lots of research results. As long as you cooperate, I guarantee first maximum dividends. Become the wealthiest researcher. Research whatever you want. Prerequisites: Get Garcia original data. Please have you. Ah, it's not a good time to read like that. This research, big money, a pleasant collaboration, trust me. The club's original purpose provide for free research belongs to everyone. Work with me, provide uh, to more people, professional business channels. Provide for free, uh, respectable virtue indeed. In the generation of Miss Mercantile Mabis, we believe we're gonna find uh, less return, believe officer maintenance. Okay, so it was just that. I thought I had to go to the bell and stuff. Thank you, kind lady. But I'm still feeling quite dizzy. See, I told you it would work. They're looking much better already. In that case, you should take the opportunity to recover. Before the guards come to recover you, at any rate. That's right, that's right. We've got evidence proving that you're a bad guy right here. Thank Patrick or you're back. Uh, did you get those phonographs? Of course, sir. Our plan worked, but Beast recorded this all too clever fellow's words down in full. Not in full. They were kind of broken in the records. It's all here in the phonographs. You, you misunderstand. I shan't deny that I did terrible deeds in the past. I'm a scoundrel, rotting to the bone. I simply wish to redeem myself. Miss Kaya. Did you put some kind of special summer shrooms in your soup? You know, the sort that might make people want to turn their lives around in the blink of an eye. No, I just made a pot of some simple fish soup. No spices either, just salt. Your charms appear most potent. Uh, this must be the pit course network charms at work, yeah. Uh, this town is pretty sure, but not that pretty. What are you up to this time, Grunland? I warned you. The daydreams, daydream club's research will not be used to make a single mora. We are researchers, not money grubbing louts. Yeah, but then how do they feed themselves if they don't even make money with what they do all the time? Um, Garcia, please wait. Uh, I'm willing to put a little faith in this desire to better himself. I agree, we should at least give him a chance. 
Alright, you see the things are getting complicated. Let us take all of you to see a doctor first, shall we? No, no Garcia, listen to me. We experienced a huge collective dream. In said dream, we had turned into some statues, yet we weren't fully so. We could still think, see and hear. I could feel that someone else was in the stone statue beside me. I could see through his eyes and hear through his ears. I think along with, his, with him through his soul. I was him, yet not him. Me too. I felt that the person with me was a good person, full of ideals and intelligence. He was constantly doing research and work, though not for himself. He was following someone as a musician, thus a conductor's battle. But he never once noticed it. What a terrifying life to have led. Oh. Oh, oh Ignus, uh, when he says conductor's battle, do you think he means the Green Symphony that governed Remuria? As you thought, they were affected by Phobos, like everybody else here. Dear Ignus, what are you talking about? Please, for this town's sake, do continue to be our bastion of normalcy and know where their symptoms come from. You do your best to describe Bermuda and Phobos in the simplest terms. Uh, so you mean to say that our dreams were real and no illusion? Well, it was an illusion. It is a fact that you had an illusion. Uh, it's hard to believe, but your explanation does make sense. Bermuda, but this is a city that exists only in legend. And yet, even if he existed. I, th I thought it was a, a known fact that it was an ancient uh, kingdom, not just legends. If it existed, that must have been hundreds of years ago now. I cannot recall. It's a real place, I've been there. It's underwater, I have with its symphony. Were it anyone else, I would have thought them bad. But you have always been truthful, so I will trust you. Yeah, but I don't think you've seen me do that much besides killing fungi and getting info from one person to another. You have been there? It really exists? Good gods, take me there, please. I must go. Me too. I must see that stone statue. Me too, I must go see him. It is incredibly deep on the water. Not to worry, we have plenty of dive suits at the club. More than enough to get us all down there. Hey, is your place a club or some kind of treasure vault? What don't you what don't you have in there? These dive suits are are there thanks to dear Mr. Grispan. He brought them to study underwater hypnotism. What's the difference from overwater hypnotism? I wish him health, no matter where he is. Anyway, enough to chat. I'm coming with you all. I, for one, do not believe that Groenland will change so easily. In that case, I suppose I'm coming too. Kai, it's dangerous down there. You. Oh, I believe you, me, dear. You're not half as skilled as I. Lutong are the uh, Lutong are there enough suits to go around. Economy lady, even counting us all, there are more than enough dive suits. If for any reason you happen to lack one, then my suit will go to you. I'm quite talented at diving without equipment. Is there anything you're not talented at, Lutong? Or in Liyue, did you learn that? Yeah. Uh, my teacher was the worrying sea and my growling stomach. The latter taught me the later taught me quite a few things too. Alright, I suppose our expedition team has been formed. 
as for who shall take the lead, I believe you'll be the best choice, Ignus. Follow close once you're in the water. If, if you want a bounty, you went up in the bishop's king's belly. We shall obey your directions then. Oh, cool, we'll take them out on there. Uh, there. Uh, ah, but that's the cave. Shouldn't uh, we enter through the entrance instead of teleporting to a random uh, cave? They probably have something to say about the castle before. Never imagined that my first diving trip would be in search of a city I glimpse in a dream. How fascinating. Huh? Um? She isn't even from Fontaine. How did she glimpse the city in a dream? True, and one that has been sundered from the present for who knows how long that. Uh, that it should have long since been buried in time. Ah, uh, that's the bell. Uh, though we haven't found the city yet, this bell is making quite the impression already. But this, do you uh, find anything wrong here familiar? No, sorry. We were in a certain room at that time, and we couldn't move at all. Just like stone statues. Uh, stone statues, but according to you, those statues had a different consciousness within them, right? So you were like, like the statue shadow, transcending time, space, and dreamscapes alike. Uh, a shame that I did not have that dream myself. And lady, you had turned into a statue shadow. I fear Mr. Garcia and I will have no choice but to interview every stone in Fontaine. <laughs> Anyway, let's continue onward for now and look for the, your statue. Alright, back country. It's right there, up ahead. I remember now, I passed this way. Hey, hey, Grunland, stop right there, you dread it. Enos, please, go with back country and the others. I'll get a hold of Gunderland. Shouldn't we all follow him? Yes, sir, I'll keep an eye on this guy, as I would have even if I had not managed to ask me to in time. So, nice to see that he is in such high spirits. Uh, in that case, he just let us go on ahead. With any luck, McIntyre's statue won't be too hard to find. Search for everyone's shadows. Uh, but did they run down there? Okay. It's not like they all look the same. It's you, yes, I know it. I dream of you. So this is... That's right, in the dream, I was his shadow. He seemed to have been studying something known as a high altitude aqueduct. Uh, even as a statue, he was constantly going over the details of its engineering. How to lay down across complex terrain, what materials to use, the length and width of city waterway. That was what made him happy in life. He did not need to think of anything else. Hey, what's up? Uh, and there I was, thinking about some strange aquabus design. It was... it was true happiness. He was pondering on aquabus specifications, style and the time required to build it. I am doing fine. What about you? 
still together despite turning into statues. I guess you guys really are fated in some weird way. They're pretty passionate about their work, huh? But for the course of for researchers, I reckon. Yeah. Maybe that's why they got together. Hey, I'm from Brazil. What about you? I respect their love for the research, but at the same time, I felt sad for them. I too salute and mourn him. Is it because the research failed to bear fruit in the end? No, they did that aqueduct. Is it because their research results proved to be flawed? No, nothing like that. There was just something missing in the research. Ah, cool. Uh, hey everyone, could you lend me a hand? Greenland's statue appears to have sunk and is tangled in seagrass. We can get rid of it ourselves like this. Could you help us? Yeah. The high altitude uh, waterway, what a wonderful idea. Yes, wonders indeed. Isn't that a bridge to enter the town? Jacobus, your designs were exquisite. Of that I have no doubt. Gonna debut something based on those ideas now. Uh, no, I'm good with the way the artworks are now for the channel. I do some stuff like that too. Uh, I only hope that we won't run into any trouble. Uh, I hope so too, my lady. As such, please stay behind us and keep our distance from the water's edge. Until we were in dive suits. Oh no. Okay. Pick up the whole statue. You and Garcia work together to move the statue. <laughs> it's you? Yes, it's you. The person in my dream. You were the director of the Remuria Academy of Sciences, in charge of all research projects. All was orderly, all went well, and it was true happiness. Uh, hang on a moment. Why are you all repeating the phrase, true happiness? It's nice liking your research and all, but most people wouldn't emphasize it as being true happiness. There's something creepy about all this. But that's exactly what the person in the statue kept emphasizing to themselves, and they wholeheartedly believed in it. I see, so that's why they mean by a symphony that governs all. So this is how Phobos control people. Ah. ah, this feels like a side quest, but it's... Well, Remoria is a side quest. But this feels like the proper continuation of the main quest here. He was a good man. Even after becoming a statue, he continued to worry about the other researchers. Read about unfinished research projects and blamed himself for the later. But something was not right, and I just couldn't say what. And only once I awakened did Mr. Babis tell me what was off. They were so focused on research that they never once spared a thought for themselves. This good person was just like all the others in their statues. They had no freedom. They just followed the invisible conductor's battle around. How did you know that they didn't have any control? That's right. You didn't know about Phobos at first, did you? Well, we found something that 
they were missing. What they were missing was a daydream. This is something that no researcher should lack. Nope, didn't get it. Is daydreaming really that important? Of course, if a researcher's mind might be compared to a fast-flowing river, then a daydream is a reef of rock upon which the torrent crashes and upon which waves of inspiration spray. Why can birds fly? Why do trees grow? Why does rain fall from the sky? Why does the world have color? Without such daydreams, which simply come out of the blue, research would be as a pool of stagnant water. But the guy was inventing the aqueduct and stuff. The daydream is the spark that every researcher is always pursuing but knows not how to grasp. The intelligence of these two researchers is no, not in doubt, but they never daydreamed a thing in their long lives, nor did they ever display the slightest curiosity about anything else. For example, as I heard them speak, I thought of at least three ways to slow water corrosion on the aquabus hose, and two ways to improve its form. And then I began to think that by combining the previously mentioned proposals, we could build a small boat that could speedily traverse the water. As for me, I was inspired by the detailing of the waterway construction, and I began to conceptualize a design that could be set between two mountains, creating a large bridge that could allow all kinds of large transports to pass through. But they only researched waterways and wakabuses and were utterly uninterested in anything else, nor did any other inspiration come to them. This is impossible for any researcher. And as you told us about what happened in Remuria, we finally found an answer to that mystery. These two researchers truly had no control over, the, over themselves. That is why we mourn them, the blank conductor's battles destroyed their inspiration, and ruined their research. I almost became the villainous conductor. <laughs> Why? I, not, I never was. Uh, could someone help me stop him from weeping in front of the statue? The uh, Grunland does seem really sad. Allow me to help, sir. There's no place for talk, so I suggest we return to town. Do you two gentlemen wish to bring any souvenirs back? No, we're taking more than enough. Uh, what did you take? Are you lugging these statues back with you? No, of course not. We're not taking anything nearly that heavy back with us. Good to see that you're in a good state of mind. Luton, help me grab his arm so we can get him out of here. He's been weeping for so long that he can barely stand. Enos, we shall con be coming on you to lead the way. Shouldn't we show them Remuria? Come on, it's right there! Shouldn't we show that? That's interesting, but that's... There's a huge discovery for them right there. Uh, no, no, I'm not. I won't become the person who tormented you. No, never, never. He is a real mess. To have seen someone's life in a dream before returning to reality, understanding the pain that person went through, then finding out that you. Then finding out that what you thought was a dream was in fact real and the life you bore with us was also real, it's almost as if you lived a second life. Nothing rests. I will make something to drink. Uh, mind helping me out, Garcia? I'll be there. But I'll watch over Grunland, will you? If it turns out that his madness is an act. In that case, sir, I'll make sure. I'll make it so he need not fake pain. 
that said, you two look like you're doing just fine, but peace, the country. We just see many people in your line of work uh, trapped in similar situations. Although this is the first time I've seen such direct control. As to why Grundland reacted so strongly, we might ha we have a theory that comes from a more sentimental perspective. They say that the despicable have their eyes closed. Grundland used various methods to keep people under his thumb, but he had never before taken note of or personally experienced what it was like to be controlled. This time he was forced to experience the pain for himself, and your ordeal seemed to have made quite an impression. He had no choice but to experience it. I hope that impression will stay with him. Yeah. So do we. So do we. After all, not everyone can have such an experience. Oh, by the way, you said that you're already taking souvenirs with you. What did you get? We memorized the results of the work of those two researchers, and we have decided to follow in their footsteps, continuing their work along their, their line of thing. Hmm. We're members of the Daydream Club, adding a dash of the fantastical to our research work is what we do. And you know what? I can't wait to design that little boat. I'll install the latest propulsion device in it too, just you wait and see. I'm going to borrow Garcia's numbering machine in a bit to calculate the various parameters needed for the large-scale bridge. Yes, we'll need to do a ter terrain survey too, but where will we be the bridge? I hope those two researchers will enjoy our daydream. If they don't, they're free to enter our dreams again. We can debate them better then. Daydreams truly are formidable power. That's the daydream club for you, I guess. As for me, once Mr. Grundland is able to walk, I shall hand him over to Officer Mente. I doubt she thought that a matter this complex would end this way. Uh, I'll never become the sort of... No, I already am. Uh, in person cries. Ah, that was it. But there will be a bit more. Ah, you guys still here. Speaking of cannonballs... Yeah, speaking of cannonballs. The bigger the better, would I say? Uh, what would you need such a large cannonball for? Well, for people to sit in, of course, and soar into the sky with the giant cannon's propulsion. My design will have the cannonball be internally hollow, such that two or even three people could sit inside. We need to be cushioning as well, so that we don't injure ourselves slamming to the walls of the projectile when it's fired. Of course, we will also need adequate food, water and a camera. Why? How long do you plan to be flying the ball? Wait, what, what will why will such a huge cannonball be made of? Uh, this is exactly the problem I'm in solve. I prepared several experiments, experimental materials, material types, and I plan to use each to make a projectile, each with small animals as passengers. Speaking of which, I must thank the gentleman for his high speed aquabus idea. It's giving me tons of inspiration. It's not exactly the same sort of speed as the cannonballs, of course, but there are still design ideas here that I can gainfully refer to. This is gonna murder a bunch of animals. Speaking of cannons, the bigger the better, would you say? Wasn't... Uh, you have another option, cannons, what sort? Uh, the sword that will blast cannonballs up into the skies. I intend to place the gun mount here, uh, maybe a bit further away, but not too far. After that, we'll have to draw up a restricted zone 
when the cannon fires the spherical blast wave is going to be quite strong. We we'll have to place the audience in suitable positions such that they can view the fire without fear that their heads might get blown or clean off. I don't see anything. Of course, the cannon is still in the design phase. I am also looking into the materials we need to make the cannon. They need to be sufficiently hard and heat resistant. Or cannon will get off one shot then boom, it'll be a gunner. I may be considering placing the cannon in the shallows or perhaps directly in the water. That way it will be easier to cool off. Then we get we can transport cannonballs by water. Truly nothing but benefits from doing so. Of course, I'll have to solve the problem of forging the cannon itself first. Hang on, you have another option. Uh, looks like a good shape now. Hey, indeed I am. More experiences mean more inspiration for more research. I must say that the inspiration I got from that fellow is outdated in some places, but it was useful overall. Once I'm done with my canal, I'll draw up designs for the high out of the waterway. Uh. And now I could build a new aquabus line completely, but a scale model should be doable. I shall show him the power of daydreams. Huh. Okay, but the most important ones, Garcia and Kaya and Luton aren't here anymore. Runland. Uh, should he have been arrested for past wrongdoings? Believe me, this is undoubtedly a win-win collaboration. You're still planning collabs, are we? I uh, just want to invest in those gentlemen in their daydream day club, but they keep refusing. Garcia especially, he refuses no matter what I say or what promises I make. If anything, he just wants me to leave. They misunderstand. I, I mean, I used to be that way, but I've changed. I completely repented and started anew. I want to support their research careers. I must admit that I'm doubtful myself. You are right, it is true, an evildoer turning about suddenly claiming to, to wish to do good. You sooner trust a venomous snake who, that greets a person warmly with thanks dripping. Fortunately, Mechatron and Babis have agreed to let me stay here for a time. I've also agreed to provide financial support to their mega cannon. Will you ever see that? Will you ever get shot through that? Could we get to Celestia through that, like in Twilight Princess? Perhaps I must do something tangible and invisible to prove my intent. Their giant cannon project really does have a lot of appeal, you know? If it can be built, the project name itself will attract many investors. And then we just need to work a little magic and... Uh huh. Uh, I mean... Work are matched to attract lots of investors and researchers with similar interests. Interests. Many hands make light work, after all. With this many supporters, we shall have no fear of failure, no? Okay, so I guess it's just that. Okay. Last time trying for surgery. No. Uh, no points there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna spend more for her. I'll try to check the next banner when it comes out. So, yeah, I guess just that. So, I am off.